Hey guys, welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. I have Blackwall cornered against these crates here. Like, just pin them to those boxes. Just like, I want to put my arm up. And Two hands like, and one leg. Up yes. Just like. <laughs> yes. Where do you think you're going, Blackwall? So between episodes, we um we just ran around and did some basic logistics. You can see that we equipped the um, staff of stasis yeah, check it that out. um <clears throat> uh, Alexius was using. Uh, we also sold some items and so on and so forth. Yep, uh, just but, some, like and like took care of our like um character records and shit. So just like real basic um yeah inventory management. Let's talk to this man. There was never going to be an easy answer to the mage dilemma. What you did for the mages took courage. You gave them a chance. Everyone deserves one. I have to ask, what was I like in that dark future you saw? Uh, uh you were angry. You were, yeah, you were angry. It's I'm, true. That yeah. was like the first thing we even mentioned. We're like, yeah. oh wow, he's pissed. Yeah, yeah. Um, I also appreciate that he approved of us um, uh, taking care of the mages. Mm -hmm. um, you were angry. You were furious about the circumstances. Angry. <laughs> Good. I'm glad I was angry. It means I never stopped caring. You were strangely charming. I'm not gonna flirt with you. He him. was he was <laughs> possessed by this horrible, like <laughs> living stone. Yeah, that was not charming. It's not a good, charming look, no. Oxer. I don't see it. Uh-uh. Uh. Even Varric, like, don't get me wrong, he was very upbeat and that was impressive, but, like, he's better without it. Yeah, I, I would say... <laughs> I went to the, the end of the it. universe and saw you dying of the illness. It was really cute. It, <laughs> like, was, it was strangely charming. Uh, I don't like no. that one at uh, all. Thoughts on the Inquisition? What do you think of the Inquisition? You already know what I think of your forces. I'm not sure what else there is to say. Okay. You sounded really angry about that. Um, your thoughts on war, thoughts on advisors, thoughts on leadership. What about our cause? What about our cause? Yeah, what about our cause? Yeah, maybe, yeah. What about our cause? What do you think of the Inquisition's cause? Restoring order is a goal I support wholeheartedly. But that's not the end of it, is it? Not by a half. The Lady Seeker believes we are restoring the Chantry. Others say it needs reform. I don't know where you stand on the matter. And I'll admit I haven't made up my mind either. Okay. Um, uh, your thoughts on my advisors? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of my advisors? Colin. He's got the look of a man who's been through too much. Mm. He's seen the best and the worst of humanity. And I think he still struggles with where that leaves him. Mm. Still, I trust him to watch my back. Oh, that's nice. All right. Oh, I, I want to hear his opinion on everyone. Okay. Um, what do you think of my advisors? Cullen. Oh. He's got the look of a I think it's a random pull and much. we just got unlucky. Oh. Best and the worst yeah. of humanity. It's square to and advance. I think he still struggles with where that leaves him. Still, I trust him to watch my back. Let's see. What do you think of my advice? <laughs> Is this Cullen again? I swear to God. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Also a little frightening, but mostly nice. <laughs> okay. Um, you're afraid of her. Uh, no one's watching. Um, spy masters aren't nice. Um, uh, I actually kind of feel spy masters aren't nice, even though it's not true about Liliana. But like right now, she's in kind of a a place. Yeah, uh, no one's also, watching. I was saying, Let's see, no one's watching. No one's watching. Uh, you're not saying that for my benefit, are you? Are you so certain you're being watched? <laughs> are you so certain we aren't? I don't want to wake up with a blade in my kidneys if I can help it. There you go. That's fair. Good strategy, <laughs> yeah. buddy. Uh, let's see if I can get anyone else on this. What do you think of my advisors? Liliana seems... Ah, square. Nice. Also a little frightening. Um, thoughts on the war? And then I think we're, we're okay. good. What do you think about all this trouble between the mages and Templars? Looking at it from where we stand, it seems inevitable. But that could be hindsight. Yeah. How many of us actually saw it coming? Either way, I don't think the Chantry will ever recover. Okay, that's right. enough. Yeah, that's good. We should Mostly we just want to go teams. around and get the uh, the new wish. scenes from you are, uh, after all completing in charge. that last quest. Yes, yeah. Cool. So I think, I don't think there's, no, that's out of the town. Um, so we have uh, Cassandra and Cullen over Cassandra, to the left. Cullen and, and Bull over here too. Yeah. Uh, let me go over oh, and see... I oh thought those people God. were T posing. I know, like I, <laughs> I saw them from afar, and I was like, I cannot wait to see these T posing folks. 
Sure I enough, mean, I mean, they <laughs> sure are tea posing, but that's that's what they're designed for. God, man. Sandra, scene. Oh, scene, scene. Yeah. Uh, what are we supposed to do exactly? What you always do, complain. We've already spoken with Commander Cullen. No one listens. We want better quarters. We want the Templars kept at a distance. And some respect for... This is not the Circle. You mages are our allies, not our wards. Act like it. How are we supposed to... Deal with it. It never ends, evidently. <laughs> hmm. uh, is there a problem? Uh, that's the truth. Arguing just makes them worse. Um, is there a problem? Or that's the truth. That's the truth. Yeah, that's the truth. That's the truth. You don't need to tell me that. Yeah. I just don't know who told them I'm the one to yell at. <laughs> is that that bad? The mages are here as equals. They need to get used to what that means. It is your doing, after all. You created this alliance. I know, I know you don't like it. Uh, I hope it'll work out. I did my best. You're blaming me. Um, I hope it will work out. Yeah, I kind of wanted to call her out, but I don't... Uh, I, I don't, don't know how think it's gonna be she read. is blaming us, necessarily. So. We know she didn't approve. But, like, that's kind of a weird metric, because it lets us inside her head in a way that, like, her words and actions don't. Yeah. So, like, I'm not... I don't know. Um, I just, yeah. yeah. I hope I, it'll work out. Well, I hope it works. What other choice do we have? Oh. I do sound like I'm blaming you, don't I? Yeah. I don't disapprove. In fact, you did well. You made a decision when it needed to be made. And here we are. I wish I could say this was my doing. Flatter. She won't like that, but flatter. She won't like that. Um, um although... No, I, don't, I I like Cassandra too much to yeah, flirt at her when it you, makes her uncomfortable. Yeah, um, when you flirt at her, I, I don't. She doesn't seem she doesn't to, to like well. that at, uh, not, at all. Not at least from the, the female inquisitor. Um, yeah. What was I going to say? Uh, she said right there that she did not disapprove, but we know quantifiably. <laughs> she well, that's kind of what I mean. It's yeah. like. You can you can be upset about something and not blame a person. Right. And so like I, I feel like that's kinda what's going on. She's just like, I approve that you made a choice. I don't like the choice, mm -hmm. but I like that you made one. Yeah, and you did what you thought was right. Mm -hmm. Um uh you got us here. I am pretty clever, or right, just remember that. You got us here? I like you got us yeah. here. Yeah. We wouldn't be here at all if you hadn't stood up against the chantry. You're being kind. You're discounting your role in this. Let's close the breach. Then we can say how successful I was. Hmm. Hmm. She had a very interesting expression through all of that. Um, is Liliana over here? Oh, no, Colin's Liliana's right in the main camp. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Colin! The mages oh. are ready to approach the breach. I pray this will be enough to close it. Um, Do you and I have a problem? I always like doing the, yeah. the person-specific things. Yep. Like, so, hey, we're a mage. Let's do it. Do we have a problem? You weren't happy with how I brought in the mages. Do you have a problem with me as well? Of course not. <sighs> I have no intention of endangering your alliance, but I must ensure the safety of those here. That concern extends to the mages. They are putting themselves at risk for the Inquisition, as are you. Any precautions taken are meant to aid you, nothing more. I hope you will accept them as such. I see I mean, I get it. I understand. Um, anything I should know, um... Why did the Templars leave? That's all. Tell me about your colleagues. Oh, what is this? Um, tell me about the Templar life. Oh, so we can just start talking to them about shit. Um, anything you want to talk to them about? Um, anything I should know? That's vague, yeah. but I'm curious. Sure, I mean, it's vague enough for me to be curious, yeah. so let's go. Is there anything I should know? I'm glad to have the charges on our side. Bull's men are professionals, despite evidence to the contrary. I think yep. that's just the catch-all, like, once you run out of real topics, he'll just keep spewing oh, new things. So, like, stuff. Um, uh, why did the Templars leave? Yeah. Why would Templars break away from the Chantry? The Order believes the Chantry no longer supports their efforts. Not to the extent they should. Uh, what changed? Yeah. But the Templars have served the Chantry for ages. 
And in that time, they've come to take the Order's services for granted. Templars risk their lives against blood magic, demons, abominations, to feel as if those efforts are dismissed. Now, I may disagree with the Order's actions, but I'm here as proof of that. But I sympathize with their frustrations. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, investigate. Yeah. Do you want to ask me? Uh, tell me about yourself. Yeah. Tell me about yourself, Colin. Yeah. I should get to know you better. We are working together, after all. What would you like to know? All right. Where are you from? Oh. Sure. How to act for Eldon by esteemed Lady uh, Sidonia. Did this happen before? Where this like popped up when we were in the middle of like talking to a character? I I think it was this pop up. Oh. I think this is one of, oh, one of the things the we missed. Um, but if I recall, this is pretty funny. So yes. um, uh, I'm just going to read it. Uh, okay. I'd like to take full responsibility for Lady um, Marshallette's odd behavior of late. Uh, you see, we recently rega uh, began the study of history. I thought it would be do the young mistress some good to be exposed to all of the Dogen culture and not just Orlais. It was a foolish thought. Uh, <laughs> regrettably, your dear daughter has taken a particular interest in Ferelden folklore. She first developed an affinity for King Callan Had, which seemed to have devolved into borderline infatuation. <laughs> she stared at me eyes wide when I told her of how he unified the barbarians with his allegedly incomparable might and charisma. Every time I tried to move the lesson on to something more important, she insisted I tell her again about Callan Had. Uh, how the Ferelden say his hair was twice as yellow as the sun, <laughs> his chin more chiseled than the tallest peaks of the frostbacks. Twice now, I've had to tear down drawings she's taped uh, um, up in her bedroom of the man shirtless. <laughs> then we moved on to the werewolves, which was even worse. Uh, as you uh, may already know, the Ferelden's venerate the folk, uh, folk heroes Dane and Hafter. Dane uh, was said to have been a werewolf and Hafter to have descended from one. No enlightened man nor woman uh, could ever view such beast people from uh, as with anything but revulsion. Uh, but you know Ferelden's and their love of wildlife. Unfortunately, <laughs> these tales of wolfmen set the young mistress imagination of fire. Oh my god! When she suggested we put on a play um, for you and her lord father, I could not say no. I'm afraid when uh, that's why Marshallet was running through the mansion wearing wet furs and frightening the chambermaids. She said rehearsing, uh, she was rehearsing a scene in which Hafter drives back the darkspawn. I've been informed that some priceless... Uh, family heirlooms are destroyed amidst all of the confusion, and I cannot fully express my dismay. I understand if my abject failure as a tutor results in my immediate dismissal. A letter from the brother <laughs> Bernard to his former employer. Oh, Thank you. you for shoving this in our face. Fuck. What was your life like growing up? Well, here's this weird anecdote, <laughs> for, or anecdote from this random friggin' Why did this... Orlesian lady learning about Ferelden. Why did this pop up here? It's, I don't like, know. It's like, hey, this is my background. It's werewolves and dogs. <laughs> And one beautiful, Wild beautiful, uh, like, king man. <laughs> <laughs> With his hair twice as yellow as the sun. God damn it. Oh my god, that is so funny. I freaking love this She's blurb. She's just a fucking Twilight fangirl. Yep. Like, that's what that was. Folks, if, if this has popped up before, like, I'm sorry we lost track of it, but, like, I freaking love this bit, Holy so I'm happy to read shit. it again. I absolutely adore this. So funny. Like, I wonder if that's a bug. Like, if that's supposed to pop up there, if it should... I mean, it seems no, really I out of place. Does um, it? Yeah. Where'd you grow up? It's, Here's the thing about Ferelden. It's just... It's talking about a girl who lived in... Or, like, an Orlesian girl. Yeah, but do you feel like you know more about Ferelden now? <laughs> I absolutely do. Like, I'm not disputing this. It's just, like, it's such I, a it funny It may be place. a bug, but honestly, it may be the funniest fucking characterization in the oh, world. It's that so get, Like, good. where'd you grow up? So and good. Cullen just shoves this into your hands and turns away. Just read this... Like, you'll know, you'll understand. <laughs> anyway, anyway, let's let's move on. I also love because it. I genuinely don't know if this has been on the stream before, and like I'm like, not sure. I don't know. I never, also, I never noticed that it was a letter from Brother Bernard to his former employer. Oh no, he, I didn't notice that either. He was fired. He was fired. Oh, the fanfic girl got her tutor fired. <laughs> That's so sad. I Tragic. Anyway. Uh, oh, right, I was right. To Kirk oh. shortly after the blight. Or just this is press the first I've returned in almost ten years. 
Okay, oh. that's all for now. <laughs> okay. Oh, God, oh, Jesus. Oh, uh, you were away for a long time. Tell me about the light. Tell me about Kirk Kirkwall. Barracks, Barracks from Kirkwall. <laughs> Barracks from Kirkwall. Did you two know each other? I knew he was friends with the champion of Kirkwall, but little else. We've spoken more since I joined the Inquisition, largely at Barracks' insistence. <laughs> Apparently, I spend too much time with a serious expression on my face, and it's bad for my health. That does sound like our boom. That sounds like some very good Uh, tell me um, about Kirkwall. Yeah. What was Kirkwall like? Shit While I was there, Canari occupied and then attacked the city. The Viscount's murder caused political unrest. Yeah. Relations between mages and Templars fell apart. An apostate blew up the Chantry, and the Knight Commander went mad. Mm -hmm. Other than that, it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh man, tell me about the rebellion, buddy. Yeah. What happened between Kirkwall's mages and Templars? You were at the Conclave. You must have heard people speak of it. Yes, but you were there. There was tension between mages and Templars long before I arrived. Eventually, it reached a breaking point. There was fighting in the streets. Abominations began killing both sides. It was a nightmare. And then... What happened then? The Templars should have restored order, but Red Lyrium had driven Knight Commander Meredith mad. She threatened to kill Kirkwall's champion, turned on her own men. I'm not sure how far she would have gone. Too far. So you opposed her? I stood with the champion against her, in the end. But I should have seen through Meredith sooner. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah. Um... Wanna talk about either of these? That was like a little, like, very, very brief recap of Dragon Age 2. Yeah, um, it was. Kind of. It, it leaves out some of the complexity, but yeah. it, it, it's it's something. Yeah. Um, Tell me about the blade? Uh, or do you want to just leave? Let's leave them for right now. Okay. That's all. I'll let you return to your work. Should you require anything, I'll be here. Oh, cool. Nope. Thanks, Colin. All right, all right, uh, all right, all right. All right. right. Um, let's go talk to Varric and then maybe Le uh, Liliana. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I definitely yeah. want to talk to Liliana. Oh, that, that was, was weird. a little stutter Ooh, step. Got a little stuck there. I think that might be a loading zone. Oh, I'm not maybe. sure. But hey, Varric. Hi. The Mage Rebellion joins the Inquisition. I've got to admit, that's a twist I didn't see coming. One thing you saw in the future worries me. I mean, it was all bad. But Red Lyrium and Ferelden infecting people and growing out of them, that's bad. Finding more of it really punches a hole in my Red Lyrium at the temple was a coincidence theory. Mm-hmm. How fast does it spread? Yeah. How long does it take for Red Lyrium to grow? How fast can it spread? It took years to infect people in Kirkwall, but no one there was actually ingesting the stuff. This Elder One managed to take the worst thing I can think of and make it worse. That's an accomplishment. Um, yeah, we I need to eliminate it. Yeah, yep. We can't leave a single piece of that lyrium out in the wild. I'm with you on that. I've got people trying to find out where the red stuff came from. I think maybe we should make that a priority. Mm. But th that's enough doom and gloom. You just won a big victory for the Inquisition. What are you going to do to celebrate? I love Varric. He I always lightens up. He kind of like... It's funny, because I feel like um, this is a really strange side thing, but, like, in Steven Universe, Amethyst is kind of, like, going through a character arc to become Varric, and I'm super into yes, it. Yes, you're right! Yeah. Yeah, because, like, she's gotten to the point where she, um, like, she understands the gravity of things, but she still wants to, like... Keep that youthfulness and, like... She also doesn't want to put happiness. everything on one person's shoulders. Yes. Varric knows that the Inquisitor, or the Herald, is, like, is always going to be the person that bears the most weight. Yep. And so, while he does <clears throat> want to deal with Red Lyrium, he also understands that celebrating and catching your breath and living and right. being a person is as important to leadership yep. as... <laughs> he gets me leader. He gets mental health. Is yeah, really what it is. And Amethyst is going through that. Yeah, like, and I like, love you need to take that. care of yourself. Yeah, it's such an important character arc for uh -huh. people, and I, I just love it. And that's why Varric's probably my favorite Dragon Age character. Yeah, but, he's so great. Um, uh, I like Catch My Breath. I do too. Yeah, I was planning to put my feet up, maybe grab a nap. You? <laughs> Whatever I do, it'll be as far from Cassandra as I can get. <laughs> <laughs> Things should be calm around here for at least the next hour. Take a moment to enjoy it. If the world's about to end, 
I'm sure the seeker will let us know. <laughs> oh, thank you. Fair Bert. enough. Do you want to talk to him anymore? Um, I think we've already gone through all of his main things. Okay. Um, uh, go the other way. Other oh, way. Oh, to for Liliana. Yeah. She's up here. Yeah. So I'm gonna go <laughs> around. stairs. Yes. <laughs> hey, look, the path is made for me. <laughs> And this is like a town. This I know. is like normal. Come um, here all the time. Um, where you at, girl? There she is. Juliana. There were so many questions surrounding Faria's death. Did he think we wouldn't notice? He's killed Faria, one of my best agents, and knows where the others are. You know what must be done. Make it clean. Painless if you can. Hmm? We were friends once. Have we already done this? We have not. Um, yeah, we have. Really? Yeah. I don't think so. Well, yes, but... I thought it was, like, a while ago. No, it was- it's after, um, In Hush Whispers. Okay. I know, um, memories are starting to bleed and I can't tell, like... I really thought, because we, like, softened her. We were like, hey, don't kill this per- anyway, uh, yeah. do you have to kill him? Um, stop. Do you have yeah. to kill Yeah, stop it. Don't- Wait. What are you doing? He betrayed us. He murdered my agent. And you'd kill him. Just like that. You find fault with my decision? Uh, um... um killing him is a waste. I like that. Yep. Yeah. If he has knowledge, then he's a resource. Use him. He's a loose end who could escape and get word to our enemies. Butler's betrayal put our agents in danger. I condemned one man to save dozens. I may not like what I do, but it must be done. I cannot afford the luxury of ideals at a time like this. I'm just having the most, like, painful deja vu right now. No. I genuinely don't know what time in my life we did this, but, we, like... We 100% uh, did this, but I think it was part of... It was our technical issues. Sure. Which it uh, was lost. Ideals yeah. are crucial. Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, now is precisely the time for ideals. That's a good line. It is. It's, it's actually one of my you favorite, like... You feel very strongly about this. Yeah. Counters. <sighs> very well. I will think of another way to deal with this man. Apriand Butler, but see that he lives. Okay. She listened to us. Yeah. Now yeah. if you're happy, I have more work to do. I know she's pissed about it. Let's talk with her again, because yeah. I'm, I don't know where in time Ooh, we exist at this moment. Faydrifts and demons keep coming. Oh. The people are terrified, and it's only getting worse. The only thing that will calm their fears now is the hope that someone out there can save them. You have to be that someone. No one else has any power over the rifts. Seal them. Your legend will spread, and Thedas will learn to trust the Inquisition. Special? Special? Whoa. I oh. watched you die for me, and why do you care about mages? I watched you die for me? Yeah. yeah. In Redcliffe, you sacrificed yourself so that I could return here. Of course I did. One small life in exchange for a second chance at history. I always loved a bargain. Mm. It was still yeah. noble. Uh, that life was a lot worse, and I just cared that it worked. It was still noble. Yeah. It was still a sacrifice, and still noble. And I would do it again. Why do you care about mages? Yeah. Why do you want me to seek out the rebel mages? Why do you care? I've known mages. Some of them were better people than me. And yet I'm free and they're not. It's not right. Wow. Mm. I didn't realize that about Liliana, that she felt that way. Well, I mean, think about her old traveling party. Think about Wynne. Think about, That's you true. Know. Yeah, you're totally She's right. known good people. Yeah. Um... We just see his left hand. Tell me about yourself. You're well connected. Any updates? We, I don't think we've encountered any of this before. With I her. don't think so either. Yeah, uh, so tell me about cool. yourself. Um, or so I wanted to comment on that last interaction we had with her. So, in doing that, that is it. So Liliana is already hardened, right? And yeah, I feel like it's kind of like a soften her up. A um, reverse of the Alistair thing. I, I think it's yeah. like she starts hardening. You can you can try to bring her back from the edge. That's um, cool. Yeah. That's really cool. Because um, I mean, at this moment, she's lost most things. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, uh, tell me about yourself. Yeah, let's talk about you. Me. Oh, uh, uh, got any? Tell me about your past. Sure. Yeah. What did you do before you worked for the Divine? I was a bard. An Olesian spy for many years. 
For a time, I also served a small cloister in Lothering. After the Blight, the Divine called on me to oversee her personal network. I'd like to be a part. <laughs> sure. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's true. I, I, I again, think Oxer is an emperor or empress, no. not, not a bard, but like... But maybe she's like, that sounds fun. Ah. Yeah. I like spying. Yeah. And music? Let's, let's do it. Can you teach me to be a bard? Being a bard is so much more than being a spy. It involves a keen understanding of politics, the ebb and flow of influence, the great game. The bards is an intricate dance where a smile can be sharper than any dagger. The best way to learn is to immerse yourself in it. Perhaps when this is all over, I'll teach you. Ooh, okay, that's cool. Uh, got any stories? Bards tell tales. I bet you tell some good ones. There are plenty of tales in the library. Perhaps you should look for them there. Okay, oh, shut okay. down. I wow. To your work. We can always talk later. Damn. Let's talk to her one more time just to see if it triggers anything. Okay. It seems Blackwall yeah. knows nothing about the disappearance of the Grey Wardens. It's a disappointment. I am, however, glad that he is with us, even if he was not what I expected. He Damn. seems to be a good man, and his experience will be an asset to the Inquisition. Hmm. As for the other wardens, I suppose we will have to keep looking. Okay. Huh. Uh, um, you are well connected, or you're just in his le left hand? Uh, you want to do that one? Yeah. Yeah. They called you the left hand of the divine. That they did? What of it? Oh, oh Jesus. My God. Um. um let what me is see. the left hand? Why don't you join my party? <laughs> <laughs> Hey girl, why can't I play you? Yeah, like I don't need you as a spy master. I need you to shoot things. Yeah, I need your bow. Um, yeah. Um, do you want to ask any of these? Tell me more about Justinia. Or what, what is the left hand? Yeah. What exactly does the left hand of the divine do? A divine always has enemies, and Justinia had more than most. I protected her. Oh. I watched, had an ear to every door. I identified threats and I dealt with them. Why um, so many enemies? Yeah. Why did Justinia have so many enemies? There were many who felt she was unfit to be divine. She had a past, a worldly life. Unlike many, she wasn't given to the Chantry as a child. She chose it. And somehow that made her unworthy. Hmm. And because hmm. they thought she was unworthy, they wished her harm. Well, um, um, sounds, sounds like a spy, spy master, master yeah. yeah. So you were her spy master too. I handled difficult situations that couldn't be resolved through more delicate means. Okay. <laughs> All right. right. Uh, we don't have to ask her any of this right now if you want. Or let's ask I her actually... about Justinia. Okay. Or wait, what? I'm I'd sorry. Like to hear That's about okay. Justinia. What was she like? I was just gonna ask why she couldn't join the party. <laughs> A mentor. Like me, she had secrets, made mistakes. It made her human. I think her followers responded to that. I mean, that's good. You you want that. Oh, were you more than friends? How did you meet? Oh, man. Which one? I think we should start with that one and then go to <laughs> yeah, that one. Yeah, okay, Let's yes. Do that. How did you and Justinia meet? I met her a long time ago, before she became divine. Before she was Justinia. When I met her, she was Mother Dorothea. I was at my lowest. Broken. Lost. And she saved me. No, no, wait. <laughs> she hates it when I say that. I saved myself. She <laughs> just showed me it was possible. Aww. That's such a good line. That's, That's really, really good. good. Also, it was this really, like, sweet glimpse at Liliana, like, mm -hmm. behind the spy master. This, get is, out. this is really um, some interesting conversations that we're having after that, like that really tense moment with her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is fascinating. Um, <laughs> were you more yeah, than just good. friends? Yeah, good. Just go for it. Was there something more than friendship between you? You're asking if we were lovers? Typical. Oh, sorry. I was devoted to her, therefore it must be romantic. Oh, I feel Love bad now. Common. Love is simple. My bond with Justinia was something greater. Yeah, she, she didn't like that. A mother, a teacher. So to answer your question, Yes, it was more than friendship. She didn't like that, Alison. She, like she didn't that like that at all. 
oh, especially after like the line before that when I was like, oh fuck, maybe I shouldn't ask this. Yeah. But I did it anyway, fuck. Let's it was continue bad. this. It didn't go later. well. Uh, okay, bye. <laughs> we'll talk more later. Yeah, that was the. <laughs> hey, Peace out. We're gonna talk right Your now. open support for the mages likely earned you enemies. Hi. Our agents Ooh. will monitor the situation. If the most opposed can be identified, we may still turn this to our advantage. No killing. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking to gain and no I'm capes. not afraid. No killing? Um, I was looking to gain and I'm not afraid. No killing? I guess? Yeah. I'm not like. So, this is one of those. As a spy master, if she like genuinely feels like an enemy needs to be taken out, that's that's kind of her prerogative. On the other yeah. hand, we're doing this for her, trying to get her back into a like, like a better mind space. Yes. So like, no killing. No killing. You're not planning assassinations, are you? I was planning to unleash Josephine on them. She kills with kindness. There you go. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> perfect. This. I applaud you for the courage to stand up for the mages. Yeah. Perfect. Um. I think we're good. We can still ask her about this other stuff. We didn't kill it. Um, okay. Car carry on. Yeah, carry I'll on for it now. Work. I actually really enjoyed it all, like, with the exception of that last <laughs> Yeah, that, that was rough. That was but bad. I shouldn't have asked that. Um, it was well written as a response, but, like, It was oof, a great response. I felt very, very was, chastised. Yeah, I was like, oh, fuck. That was bad. Um, but other than that, all of that was really good. Yeah, no, I um, love just catching up with folks. Um, I think there's a few more people we're going to want to catch up with. Um, yes. But I think we need to do that next time. Yeah, I think that uh, sounds good. Yeah, specifically, I think the folks we need to talk to are... Um, Dorian is a big one, and also Josephine. We have not talked with Josephine. Right. Yeah. Uh, and also, like you know, Sarah and Solis and all of them. Yeah, they're over here. So I'll just I'll just come over here, and there's that guy. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> hello. Uh, uh, or woman, farewell, person. Goodbye. Anyway, um, uh, we've got. <laughs> We've got two we just had, Yeah, we just had a moment. <laughs> anyway, uh, we will see you next time. <laughs> Threw me off. I don't... I'm, I know. I genuinely lost my that, entire my, flow my, from that. My groove is just, like, in the toilet Threw now. Threw off my groove. Threw um, off my groove, man. Anyway, next time we'll talk with our remaining party members yep. uh, and Josephine. And then uh, after that, I think it's time to uh, kick off the next major plot quest. Yeah, that sounds great. All right. Bye, All right. folks. Bye, guys. Thank <laughs> you.